Hello, I'm Joe McCarthy, Technical Evangelist for Catchpoint, and in this video, I'll show how Catchpoint solutions can quickly pinpoint BGP routing issues that can adversely affect the end user experience. Catchpoint runs the world's largest and most distributed monitoring network in the industry. Each blue dot identifies a monitoring location. With over 825 locations around the globe, with each location containing a range of node types, that provide unparalleled visibility. These node types include Backbone, which are the core ISPs, Last Mile, this is ISP to office or home, Wireless, this will cover the 3G and 4G antennas, Enterprise, this is for monitoring internal performance per corporation, In Cloud, where we have presence in all the major cloud providers like AWS, Azure, and Google. The benefit to our customers is that they can instantly and proactively monitor the performance of their digital services, the experience of their customers and employees without having to spend millions in OpEx and CapEx to deploy complex agents, network probes, taps, or appliances. Catchpoint is uniquely positioned to reduce monitoring blind spots that hamper many of our competitors in today's complex hybrid topologies. In this scenario, the user's responsibility is to monitor the BGP routing performance and reachability of all the corporation's points of presence. The BGP overview dashboard shows the status of all my prefixes, and we can display up to 500 prefixes. Below this is the location view of those prefixes, so you can geographically see the status from a global perspective. To investigate any of these prefixes, I simply need to select one, and it takes me to Catchpoint's Smart Board. SmartBoard provides insights into many different metrics, giving you multiple perspectives when troubleshooting, all from one view. Notice at the bottom of the screen, Catchpoint differentiates itself by utilizing three different sources to gather BGP route information. First is route views, which is used by most monitoring solutions today. This only provides BGP updates in 15 minute intervals. Ripe RIS updates within about five minutes, and because Catchpoint can leverage its backbone nodes deployed globally, we receive real-time BGP information, which is a huge differentiator. Looking at the smart board view, I can move the time frame bar to wherever I need to to investigate deeper. And once I place my bar where I need to, let it go, all the metrics update to view just that specific information. Smartboard also provides powerful filtering mechanisms so you can quickly navigate to where the issue or issues are occurring. The three pink bars represent the route withdrawals seen in the metrics below. Starting from the left, you can see I can filter by peer, continent, country, registry, even collector. I'll stick with peer because I know I want to find out which peer is causing my issues. When I go to withdrawals, since I know I have three of them, simply select it, select it again, and it bubbles up worst to best so now I can see FiberStream is where I'm having my issues. As I can see, I have three withdrawals and availability is zero. Since FiberStream is the only peer showing route withdrawals, I can further filter specifically on FiberStream by selecting it and hitting apply. Now all the metrics are focused specifically to FiberStream. Going across this view, I can see any neighbors. And when I select it, I can see that SAP peers with itself so we'll just see SAP to SAP. In the answer section, this shows the prefixes that I've targeted. This is under the prefix section, so you can see I targeted a .88-21, and it answered with a .8821. Now sometimes you may target a specific prefix, such as a slash 24, but the route table is picking up an aggregate route of a slash 21. So at times you may get a different response than what you're expecting. So now I want to move down to the route view, which is at the bottom of the screen. And here's where we can filter by different metrics. Here it is by continent, country, registry, collector. I want to do by peer, since we know FiberStream is the culprit. A unique feature about this view is you can adjust the perspective of the traffic flow. By clicking on the origin box, you can change how the view is displayed. Here I'm showing peer on the left, so I can see FiberStream is on the left with the origin address on the right. If I simply click on the origin box, it flips it. 
So now the origin is on the left with the peer on the right. So depending on what you're trying to solve or view, you've got options. I'll go back to having the peer on the left. Another great feature within this view is you can make it more granular. So from the peer direction, I'll grab this dot and just slide it to the right. And as you can see, it gets more and more granular as I go to the right, showing the full path. You can also, I'll slide this back, do it from the origin side. So as I slide this to the left, it builds basically the same view, but it shows you the full path. So again, you have options on how you want to view this specific route. So looking at this route, starting from the fiber stream side, when I put my cursor over it, you can see 0% availability, and there are three failures throughout this route. And as I can see, as I go across, when I get to the Hurricane ISP, the route flipped for some reason. So it went from Emirates to Telecommunications, and it flipped to orange. Now, anytime you see a dotted red line, that signifies a withdrawn route. So for some reason, it flipped from Emirates to orange, and now orange is showing a stable route because it's signified by a solid red line. So solid red line is stable. Anytime you see a dotted red line, that's a withdrawn route. And you can see that SAP is ingesting from two different paths into their endpoint. And each one has a different ASN number. So this one ends in 928, and the one below ends in 181. So as a network ops person, I can conclude that there's a problem with the fiber stream as they were isolated and having some route flap that was causing us to move between the Orange and Emirates ISPs. And an issue bouncing the traffic between two of our SAP providers. Now these incidents could have been a result of route flap on the fiber stream side, or possibly traffic bouncing between the SAP providers. Perhaps you're just validating the effects of a planned configuration change or performing route maintenance. Having a view that provides hop-by-hop -hop granularity and shows the effects of change in real time is priceless. With Catchpoint Solutions, I was able to quickly identify a BGP routing issue determine the source of the problem, pinpoint the exact cause that created the BGP routing issue, the ability to validate the effects of planned route changes, and most importantly, get the end user's performance back in short order. Problem solved. Thanks for watching. For more information on Catchpoint Solutions, please visit the link provided.